Conservative in New York, Christopher Wright. Good to join another of my momentous walk and talk videos. What's today's walk and talk going to be about? Vaccine. Right there. Vaccine mandates got to go. You know, people who get the vaccine, there's a lot of New Yorkers here who are sick and tired of all the demands that the government is pushing on them for this vaccine. There's people who have been recorded deaths due to the vaccine, heart inflammation due to the vaccine. The vaccine is doing more damage than it is help. And yet it's not getting reported. It's not getting. People, the American people are not knowing about what's going on. So it's time for we the people to stand up and get our voices heard. And that's what you're waiting to see right here in Manhattan, New York. Check it out. Hello, 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 hello out there. How's everybody doing? How's everybody speaking? Conservative in New York, Christopher Wright. This is one of my momentous walk and talk videos. Remember, if you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, and share. So, as you guys saw by the headline, what the discussion is going to be, it's going to be about Sleepy Joe Biden, perhaps the worst president in U.S. history. It hasn't been about a year yet. Uh, when you look at the border crisis situation, if you look at what happened, the situation happened in Afghanistan, if you look at how he's uh, handling this vaccine mandate situation, the censorship on the internet, everywhere you look, this guy's doing a terrible job. He is pathetic. And where are his supporters at? This guy's supposed to be the most popular president in American history, am I right? Last time I recall, that's what they said. But if he's most popular in American history, why his supporters out here in the streets marching where they at? Why not support him? Why when he was running, all they had was about five, six people at his campaigns and trucks humping horns? If he's the most popular president in American history, why is that? Anybody can answer that question for me? Because I'm living here in New York right now, and it's getting crazy. If you guys haven't noticed the anti-vaccine mandate, people are losing their jobs, people are losing their careers because they're not following the freaking BS narrative the mainstream media is pushing. The same mainstream media that lied about our President Trump for four years in the stupid Russia scandal that they're finding out was Hillary's behind the whole entire thing. So this is what we're gonna do. Are we gonna go four years this nonsense? We've been nine months in, this guy's about to destroy this country. I'm not gonna sit back and take it. You guys already know, I've been in these anti-vaccine mandate rallies. I got one plan in the near future, stay tuned for that. You're gonna get up what is hurt in New York. We're gonna turn this bad boy red. I'm not sitting back and taking this nonsense. I, I can read the Trump for 2024, he's gonna run again, he's gonna run again, do work. But right now, we need to do work here, right now, at the very moment. Now, who's with me? And I'm ready to go grassroots up in here. You guys know I ain't playing around. I'll go door to door. I'm doing neighborhood cleanups, canvassing, whatever it takes. And I'm getting my fellow Americans here in New York to ride along with me. The United We Stand movement is a very real thing. We're bringing real change to, to New York. We're going to turn this bad boy red. So watch what we do coming up. Stay tuned, fellow patriots. I don't want you guys to get upset, man, because what's happening right now is just disturbing. It's disturbing what's happening with this... CRT, critical race theory, not to push into schools, the agenda to push into schools. There are little kids that were born of racist, or born as victims, oppressed, they can't do nothing. Setting them back from the jump. So they're setting them back from the jump, they're attacking them at a young age, so they know they can control them. That's what it's all about. When they get enough kids, they know they can control them down the future. Give me one second, guys, I'm in New York, so I gotta run across some lights sometimes. But I'm not gonna allow that happen. We got some fellow Americans in the CRA, the Conservative Republican Alliance of New York, who are riding along with me. You know, shout out to Freedom Fighters and uh, Freedom Fighters in New York City. They're coming out. He's anti-vaccine. They're doing marches and rallies almost every other day, getting their voices heard. And I stand up for them. They're doing their thing. Much, much love for them, much support for them. And we have ideas in the near future as well. So stay tuned. We're going to be doing our own events. We got our own speakers out here. We're going to make our voices heard. You guys know I ain't backing down from none of this nonsense. We got big plans for the conservatism in the near future. Conservatism is the new counterculture, folks. I keep telling you guys. Four years ago, faith for fear, no masks, no gloves. Conservatism is a new kind of culture. We got a lot of young patriots, black, white, Hispanic, gay, straight, Jewish, Christian, atheists, all of them on the conservative side of things, ready to make change. So when we bring these people's voices heard and let people know that not New York's diversity is also within the Republican Party, then we're gonna see some real change in New York. Until then, we're gonna be screwed. This place is ran by a bunch of demon, demon crats. And that's demon with an N with three Ks instead of a C, demon crats. Those people invented the KKK, invented segregation, invented, invented lynching, all to hold minorities back. So it's time to wake up the freaking American society, wake up the culture, wake up.
citizens of this country who happen to be minorities, disabled, whatever it may be, and let them know that you can do whatever you can in this country if you work hard enough and you can get anything accomplished. That's the beauty of America. That's the beauty, beauty of capitalism. And we're going to keep that in people's minds because they're trying to put socialism from the freaking youth all the way up and change this country to a socialist, communist, whatever country they want to do. Another freaking China. China has their hands all over this nonsense. You see how they do. And they do all this craziness and nobody stands up against those bitches. Just be nobody on the left. I'm not these rhino Republicans. That's why we got a clean house. Get rid of the rhinos. Replace them with the new wave of conservatism that the MAGA movement created. So that ain't going nowhere. MAGA just created something very special, folks. And I'm seeing it right here in New York and I'm building on it. And when we come, when Trump comes back in 2024, he's going to have an army with him. They were better off letting him win back to back by a landslide he should have won. Instead of cheating and stealing the election. Now we're going to come back and hit him with a freaking hammer upside their stupid heads. And see what happens to him. Yeah. So turn New York red, man. It's a real, very real thing. You see these movements are growing, they're getting bigger, they're getting stronger. You got people who want to left you, you got Black Lives Matter and people coming to some events because they know that they made a big mistake voting for Sleepy Joe Biden. For those who even voted for him. Because <laughs> you know he stole the election. So that's a whole different ballgame right there, folks. So I'm keeping it real with you guys and you guys know not to give up. They want you to give up. They want you to give up so they can control you. They hope you put your hands up and just play defense like we've been doing so long, playing defense and not going offense. It's time to go on offense. You can't win the game without scoring points. So I'm ready to score some points. I'm ready to be like NJ, dunking from the free throw line on these fools. They are not ready for what's coming. So, you know, my fellow patriots out there, I know you guys are watching me in New York saying, Chris, are you okay? Is everything okay out there? It's not perfect out there. Far from okay. And, it, and the way the Democrats are running to Blasio, this freaking communist mayor, we got Cuomo finally stepping down. The only reason stepping down because we got this freaking... Ah, man, I'm so bad with names of that. But this lady that's in there now, she's a freaking socialist, talking about God told her to give people, people need to take vaccines and they're not vaccinated, they're not clean. I haven't heard this since, like, Nazi Germany kind of talk, man. And they're talking about everyday conservative, maga support Americans. Like, we're freaking, I don't know. Like, we're freaking this trash, man. It's just disrespectful, man. This is the way they talk about the Jewish people with the Gestapo when Nazi Germany just began when they had a Nazi youth and all that. It didn't come out right in front of your face, kicking doors down, ripping Jews out of the house. It started off with the Nazi youth. started off, this is for your health. This is for your safety we're doing this for. What are you, what's the terminology you're using right now? This is for your health. If people are not vaccinated, this is for your health to get away, get away from them because they are unclean. I was on a train the other day and some lady tried to say she wouldn't say to me because I wasn't vaccinated. I told her and the entire family to get away from me if you're vaccinated. You're a super spreader. Take your vaccinated self away from me. Get six feet back that you're vaccinated. And I had everybody on that train, train chain in USA when I was all said and done. And they saw the passion in my heart and they saw I wasn't playing games. I love my country. This is America. Son, I have some backbone to stand up and fight. Are you going to fight with me? I hope so. so. Stay tuned, guys. I got my event coming up October 9th. Anti-vaccine mandate event. And I got more events coming planned. I got door-to-door canvassing planned. I got a lot of ideas lined up. Neighborhood cleanups. We're going to get into inner cities. And we're going to show people in there what party really has their back and what party has had their back throughout American history. That's the Republican Party. That's the facts. Look at, look, look at history and study that if you want to. Do your research on that. I've been doing my research. I know my history. I know my black history, which is a big part of American history. That's why I'm a proud black American. You ain't gonna tell me nothing. I ain't, I ain't no African American. I'm America first. All day, every day. You guys all know the deal. So you know I love everybody out there. Listen, like always, man. God bless the United States. God bless. You know how the routine. Let me get it right. God bless everybody out there listening. And like always, God bless these United States of America. Peace out.